Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esperencia Perita, aka Miss Wit. So guys, today I want to talk about this topic that I've been wanting to tell you like for the last like one month, but I've been waiting and waiting until uh, yesterday when I got like the results to everything. And that's why I'm sharing now. So this is like my journey to being a surrogate. Get out the road, I told you. A car's coming, I stop you. You know why? Surrogates are women who carry children for other people, specifically like if somebody is not in a position to get children or maybe a single guy who wants to have a kid without getting married or maybe women of the same sex who want a child and they can't. So things like those, they're different like, um, how do I say this? Like there are different reasons to why somebody needs a surrogate, you know? So for me, I had actually, like, I did not apply. Someone had asked me, would you actually be interested in being a surrogate? And then I was like, mm, like, what can actually make me be a surrogate? That was the question, right? And for most people, it's all about the money. And then I looked at it and I was like, hmm, if you are to be a surrogate, it, it, it actually goes beyond the money, you know, because sometimes you actually are in a position to help someone and then just feel fulfilled. Also, maybe you are broke and you need that money or maybe you just want to and maybe you want to experience that. And like there's so many reasons, the same way another person could be looking for a surrogate, the same way a surrogate could be looking for another person like to go through this whole process. So to begin with. When you finally decide that you want to be a surrogate, it has a lot of things to actually think about, you know. And for me, I actually didn't know there was so much to be done, and especially with the exams, counseling, I don't know. There's so much, so much, actually. I'm not, like, going to mention maybe the hospitals and everything, but I'm just going to tell you one, two, three of the things that I have underwent that I think it's important for you, actually, to know. So when you want to be a surrogate, just know, one, uh, you need to submit your papers and actually they look at the age 25 years and above and they're those that act, are actually like specific we want a 26 year old we want a 27 year old we don't want anybody past 30 or we want somebody who's 30 you know there are those families or those people that are specific to those kind of details and then there are those that are just like no 25 and above fine so you must be 25 years and above also one thing that i realized that from my submission it was an online submission actually something i realized was everybody was like are you mentally stable and i don't know I, like that a uh, question i don't know how like to interpret it but hey for many that i applied for that one was among them so are you mentally stable are you able to make decisions and then one thing guys you have to do an exam oh my goodness did i tell you that i did a mathematics test i didn't right so yeah there's an exam that you do there's that one that you get like questions, general, uh, like general knowledge questions. And then there's that, that they need like that intellectual, wherever. So Yanni, I'm telling you, it's a whole process guys. And I'm telling you, this whole thing happens after like somebody. So when you submit your papers, let's say a couple that is not able to have children comes through and they see maybe like five submissions, maybe let's say Esther. No, if you're Esther, I'm not using you. So maybe oh no let me not use even names let me just say a b c d e so five people have submitted and then they're like eh, i think we like a we like d and we like c so these ones are the people that we are actually like highlighting for the next step so for the next step that is after like they go through your papers and think okay this is fine in ananang maybe they see your blood group and everything and then they're like okay i think we like this you know and then after that they're like you need to do tests so all kind of tests that you have ever seen guys so you will go to a hospital of your choice and sometimes they could actually like say we want you to go to this hospital you know a specific hospital so for me it was a specific hospital i went there did the tests so many tests hiv 
I don't know you have any nini, uh, what was it? Like there were so many things, guys, that at a, at some point I was just like, huh, huh, and then like they actually get so much from your background history. I think that helps them to know if maybe your your family has any underlying condition or disease that is going from generation to generation or any inheritance disease, like things like those. So they ask you a lot from your background. To some point, <laughs> there's this one that actually they were like. Can we interview your parents? I was just like, what if I didn't tell my parents that I wanted to be a surrogate, you know? So, like, you have to actually, like, be in it, guys. So, if maybe you are in it because of maybe, let's say, business or money-wise, so, like, there will be so many things and you have to be okay to do those things. And for me, for the test, I didn't think it was a bad thing because also for me, I would like to know how my condition is or how um, I am health-wise, you know? So, and because like most of the, most of the nini of the checkups and every test like they paid for, it's just like, oof, this is amazing. I'm going to do it. So I, I actually like, that was like my most amazing part because you get somebody to pay for you to just know how you're doing generally. Maybe if you have any condition that you didn't know, maybe you've been suffering from something and you don't, you didn't know the root of it, you know? So things like those. So you have to be okay with that. But apart from that, I think if you have to be in it, you have to be like wholeheartedly because it comes to a point whereby you're just tired because you you get you do one two three and then there's a follow up. They just like oh, and we also like our couple uh, is asking if we can get this kind of info from you. So you go through and it, that info is not like just one or three sentences. You know, it's something that you have to actually like sit down. It's like you're writing an exam. I don't know if you understand the same way when you're applying for maybe let's say what a visa or something so you have like to go through this process everything na, 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 na. things like those yeah, there's a lot that goes in but what i learned through the process is patience guys patience and also another thing is you have to be keen because like let me tell you especially with the with the nini with everything even the contract before like it gets terminated just in case you are not selected so with the contracts <laughs> I'm telling you, these are pages and pages and pages. And if you actually don't like love reading, I'm telling you, you will miss out on a lot because everything like you just have to read because there are different clauses that you need to go through and just like know like I'm ready or I'm not. And I think the best way is for you to get maybe a lawyer. This lawyer can help you understand everything in the document so that you know what you're getting yourself into, you know. And then the money, you're not given this money at a go and you know surrogacy like the money is from here in kenya 800 g's and above you could even get somebody giving you 1.5 m or others 2 million just depends with how like for what i realized is the amount varied and what i realized this is like my analysis from the people that i've seen through the contrast and everything and the proposal so like how urgent these people need a baby like the more urgent they need i think that's the more like they pay and sometimes it doesn't work for everyone you know because sometimes uh no at some point i thought that and then again i was like mm, maybe it's not the urgency it's like is this the person we want how good is this person in every aspect of everything that we are looking for and then they're like mm, i think this person is a hundred over hundred for us so they go in they're like how much you say 1.5 they give you 1.5 or even more you know it just depends and then this money you're not given this money at a go you'll be given in stages so <laughs> in the contract that is why i'm saying you need to get a lawyer to help you understand the document so that you understand better what to expect when where and how you understand that so you will be given maybe 100 g's per uh, every month and then by the end of the ninth month after the baby comes everything is okay na 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 hand handover is done now you get the remaining percentage of your money but also you need to know that if there are any complications that come through when you're cutting this baby and maybe you have a miscarriage or maybe the baby dies you know in the process like you will be paid but not to the amount that you are supposed to be if you are 
if you are to be given 1.5 million you won't be given that 1.5 million but you'll be given a certain percentage of it you know so like let's say you have a miscarriage at maybe two months you know if you have a miscarriage at two months i don't know but if it happens there it only means that from the money that you guys had discussed you will get a certain percentage not all of it and also the best part is that during your your pregnancy journey like this other person or the person you're carrying the baby for they actually work with you throughout the whole journey and they'll be there with you they could actually get you get you like a life insurance not life actually like a health insurance which is really awesome and a good idea so when you're actually like going ahead and signing those uh, surrogacy contracts make sure you read through if you don't understand get a lawyer to help you like understand every clause every part of that contract so that you you don't sit down and you're like ah oh, i didn't see this oh i didn't understand this you know don't just look at the money i will give you 1.5 million and then you just over the moon you don't even understand like whatever maybe something happens and you are like but you said you'd give me 1.5 and they're like no this happened and you didn't actually maybe read the contract blah 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 and things like those so make sure you have a lawyer also these surrogacy deals you could actually get them from specific hospitals maybe if you approach them you say oh i'm 25 na 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 maybe you could put me uh, my name on a list for the surrogacy na 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 if somebody comes in wants to they need to get a kid with the surrogate hit me up sorry <laughs> hit me up so that na, na, i can come maybe ni na ni so you know like you have to you know the way an interview with people are shortlisted that's the same case okay? so you submit your name and then there like there's online and there is like the normal one you go to Aga Khan, you go to maybe Nairobi, you know these hospitals, I won't, I am not going to mention them, they didn't pay for this video. So, what I'm saying is like, you can just put in a name and then they can shortlist you after they go through everything and then you submit your documents and then when submitting your documents, you need to know, as I said, there are those people or those couples or those whatever, the, the group or the family that wants to have a surrogate, they might be urgently needing someone so when you submit your papers and then you're shortlisted and then they're like we want you to do this abc nee, nee, nee. if you are really into it make sure you do uh, all the tests and everything they require you to do in good time so that they don't move on from you if you're really into it that's it but if maybe you're just trying your luck to see if maybe somebody could recognize you or anything things like those but people are out there who actually want surrogate so don't like put your name out there to, for just like to do your own things like if you are into it go ahead and put your name out because these are people and we don't want to play with their feelings right you don't know what like brought them to that decision so if you have your name shortlisted out there or put your name out and you're like okay if something or anything arises hit me up make sure you are able or you are interested to go to go all the way to the end you know so Apart from giving your names out to and being added to list, there are online websites that you could actually just click and you can sign up actually and then you can be on a wait list. So when you're on a wait list, you may get interviews, you may get exams, you may be asked to do tests, different kind of things that you are asked to do. But you won't be asked to do anything weird outside your whatever, like to maybe make you feel like you are not uh, whatever and everything like things they will ask you are things that are actually like needed for the whole process so i just wanted to share that because for me actually i had put my name out there for like different 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 sites you know and there i, I actually have experienced like three in the last two months I've experienced three back and forth, back and forth. We need this info. You didn't give us this. We need this. Parents, whatever. Somebody approve. Na 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 na. You know things like those. Are you single? Nobody will come claiming this baby. Blah blah blah. Like there are a lot of things, guys. There are a lot of things, and then the document is huge. Oh my goodness. Like the rules. I don't know the like everything that goes in there. Please, please, if you are putting your name out to be a surrogate, make sure you read or go through that list and everything requirements so that you and the other team are on one page because if you don't understand something and you don't get a lot to help you understand it might come uko mbele and then you're like okay we are not paying for this because this is not what happened or something just came up or things like those like you have to understand and especially 
in the moment where you have complications with the pregnancy, you need to make sure that all that is captured in the contract or in the document before starting of the journey. And with starting of the journey, it's just like getting a sperm or an embryo from another person or like there's a lot of nini going in there. I'm not going to talk about that because I'm not a specialist in that because even for me, they had to like to explain to me detail, detail. And then I was like, okay, that I understand. No, that this I don't understand. This I understand, you know. There was a lot that went into it. But let me tell you guys, I'm telling you like I know people who are making uh, money out of surrogacy. And for me, <laughs> you will ask me, why did you even apply for it? And I don't know, guys. I don't know. If you ask me, I don't know. Kabisa, kabisa, sijui. But I think I, I I was actually like hooked. I was like, yes, I want to do this. And they actually asked you like, for this online link that I sent, they were like, um, are you able to relocate? And I was like, yes. You know, <laughs> things that you don't even think of in the long run. So it's just, yes, yes, I will relocate. Because if you're carrying somebody's baby, and they want like to be just near close, uh, they are close to you. They want to see your progress, how you're doing, everything. They monitor you here and there. I was like, yes, why not? And now looking at it, so the reason why I'm coming here to tell you guys <laughs> about this surrogacy journey is because mine has been cut short. Why am I saying that? I'm saying because <laughs> there's this one. That was going so well, so well, so well. But in the end of the day, I think they, they, they found a better match than me. And the reason there is because of my background history. Yeah, because I remember the lady saying, Perita, we are so sorry, but your background history, na, 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 na. I didn't even hear everything, you know. I was just like, ah, sorry, fine, it's not happening. But guys, I was this close, this close. To being a surrogate, I'm telling you. But let me tell you, when you go through that process, you're just like, oh, my life is about to change. All things are happening so fast. No, no, it feels like you want you are getting married when unprepared, you know? Because to some extent, I used to ask myself questions when I'm alone in the bedroom, just like, am I really, really ready? Uh, what actually, like, am I doing? Like, is this what I want to do in the long run? Like, I was just asking myself these questions. I was not sure. Nah, nah, nah. Like, there was a lot going on in my mind. But there's this voice that was at the back of my head. And it used to tell me, Perita, you are in. Like, you've already started and you're doing this. You have started, you're not a quitter. Just go ahead. Like, there, there are even times that you get this nini email and you're like, again, I already visited this doctor last week. What did the doctor take from me? You know, like you have, and for me having a nine to five, so Saturday you're just like, did this Saturday you go? They do, na, 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 you go back home, and, the, and then on Monday you get an, an email, oh, blah, blah, this is what has happened, na, 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 you know, things like this. And guys, you know what? I'm telling you this because, like, I've not told anybody this story. And then I was just like, okay. This is something I've done. I might think it's a secret, but then in future, you never know. Somebody just says, oh my God, I saw this lady. She wanted to be our surrogate. And then you guys will be looking at me like, why didn't you say something? So yes, I'm saying now, I'm coming out like, I'm making it clear. Yes, I wanted to be a surrogate, but it didn't work for me. And I don't know if I want like to apply for others because it has been an exhausting journey. Oh my goodness, it has been exhausting. So I do not know if I will be applying for any other anytime soon. And I just like wanted you guys to know how tiring it is and how dedicated you need to be. And you don't have to be giving up <laughs> the way I did so, to some extent. And I think it was it was awesome experiencing that and feeling like, oh, my life is about to change for the better. Maybe because I was thinking about the money, the money and uh, this person was asking me to relocate to another country. And they actually were saying after everything, they will like, like sponsor me, like, you know, sponsor me, like to stay there in that country for like five months before I go back or before I, I get on my feet and start on maybe one day, one or two things that I want to do. But I was just like, is this what I want to do really? 
do I want to leave my country because I'm pregnant for somebody that is not even in my country? And what if I am pregnant, I go to that country, and then maybe here in Kenya, you know how our systems are. I go there, and then I'm carrying this person's baby, I give them their baby, and then they kill me. You know, these are kind of things that, I, that were actually going in my mind at that time. And there was a lot to think about, and there was a lot to even like just consume. I remember some nights my head was just aching nonstop, and I couldn't like figure out what was happening. To some extent, I was feeling like I was going to die because, to some like I am, I am telling you, I even felt like I was getting panic attacks sometimes. But hey, actually, when the lady called me and she was like, "Oh, we are sorry, na na na," I was I was sad that I didn't make it. But at the same time, I was happy that finally the journey has like just stopped and I can now move on with my life, you know. So this is not something that happened a few months ago. So yeah, so I'm just saying this so that, you know, if somebody comes and says, she was about to be our surrogate. Yeah, I've already told you so that you don't have to hear it from another person, you know. So yes, that was it, guys. And it is awesome sharing with you these kind of things, you know. So from me, Mr. Peace, and I'm out. I'll see you guys on the next one.